Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. We've had some nice music on this week and we're going to continue that on today with some modern progressive metalcore kind of vibes, technical stuff. Uh, sounds pretty dope. This first band's called Lyca. They got a track for us called Intoxicated with an official vid. So let's check them out. Super punchy drums. Nice fan fret bass. Two vocalists. Some synths and stuff going on in the background. Got those progressive riffs. They've all got really nice instruments. Big white chorus. That's what these modern metalcore guys have got. Real big white chorus, almost anthemic choruses. Nice synths in there to widen out. It's as wide as it'll go, this track is. Dope. It's got a good voice. Yeah, those drums really kick through the mix. Super punchy kick and snare. Going along with the guitar riffs and all of that. This dude's got some screaming in him as well. I'm not sure he's got the power of the other dude though. Because that's a powerful deep hardcore vocal. Oh, is this another dude coming with some vocals as well? Oh no. They've all got a bunch of vocal styles in them. I was going to say there is the synths on that part really build that up and widen it out. Sounds great. Great. High quality track high quality vid as well to go with it that's nice but yeah got that nice modern progressive stuff great kind of musicianship in there they all had very nice instruments as well expensive instruments uh real punchy drums that go along with the guitar riffs as well uh and then these two vocalists did a bunch of stuff uh shouting and screaming and singing and all sorts so yeah cool We'll move on to this next band. I think these guys are from the UK. This is a band called Zilf. If you're interested, if you're a vocalist, these guys are running a, a thing on their page where they've put up a track with no vocals and they want people to shout and scream over them. So if that's your vibe, check them out. Uh, this track is called Endless. So let's check it out. Sound 
a different guitar tone. A lot of harmonics to it. Scratchy. Different sound to the last band, this one. Guitar tone's way different. Real fuzzy, real scratchy. A lot of high ends to it. Heavy vocal again, though. wide opened at chorus. That's what these bands do well. But those tighty, genty, progressive riffs that go along with the drum beats, or the drum beats go along with them. And then for the choruses, maybe bring in some cleans, but just widen it out. You know, just make the cymbals more washy, maybe bring in some synths. It just makes a big anthemic type chorus. And we're back to this heavy, punchy stuff. Cool vocals. The drums have got really washy cymbals. Yeah. Some nice hardcore elements in this one as well. two vocalists in this band as well. They've at least double, double layered it up. elements to push the track for this last chorus. More vocals, more guitars. Cool. Got some nice hardcore elements in this band. Cool. Cool video as well for that one, for a lyric vid. Falling into the abyss. Feels like that some days. Dope band. Very, very nice. Good high quality sound. Modern. Nice elements of hardcore in there as well. Switching it up with the vocals. Uh, those big anthemic type choruses as well. That's what it's all about. Now this last band is called Intercepting Pattern. Their track is called 
Rebiogenesis. That's a cool name. Uh, so yeah, let's finish off with these guys. That's some nice music. as well. Not a typical guitar tone. Cool. Yeah. This guy's quite off beat. Don't. Nice. Distortion on the vocal sounds dope. These guys are quite experimental. Progressive, but not just progressive, I would say experimental as well. This is quite different. Yeah. Mixing it up all over the place. Interesting music. That guitar tone as well. It's, it's, it's a cool tone, but it's a well, really different tone. When it's grinding away like this, then they bring in the other guitar over the top, twiddling away. Really cool. Interesting, in a good way. Loads going on in this music, jazz fusion. Yeah, you can hear that. Sorry, we lost the volume there. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this music. 
You need to give this one a couple of listens before you've really caught your ear on everything that's happening in this track, I would say. Nice bass sound. Yeah, sick. I wasn't quite expecting that amount of progressiveness and experimentalness, you know? I thought they were a bit more in line with our first two bands. But yeah, these guys were out there, definitely. Uh, loads going on in the guitars, loads going on in the drums, a sick, heavy vocal with some cool rhythms and ways that he came in with the music as well. A uh, nice amount of distortion on the vocal to make it gravelly and sit in the mix in a cool way. Good bass tone as well. Uh, but just all sorts going on in this music. So he didn't know what was going to come next. Um, but they threw in a lot of different things into there. It was a high level music. Very, very cool. And say that guitar tone as well was really quite different. I've had some very, very different and kind of unusual guitar tones today, I would say, in these bands. Um, not kind of your run of the mill PV tone or, you know, Marshall or orange tone that we can kind of catch your ear on and go, oh, yeah, I can recognize what amp that's coming through. Uh, these bands, yeah, they're doing their own thing with the tones. Dope. Cool music. Hope you've enjoyed that today, guys. We've got more stuff coming up for you tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Bye.